Hello, I'm Doug, and this is the Taste and Sensibility Channel. And today on Black Licorice Review number five, we're doing all sorts. So it's not one of those black, ooey, gooey, chewy candies that people don't like, but it seems to be out lots of places. I bought some when I was in the UK a few years back, and I've seen it here in various packagings and bulk and different things. So we'll take a look at it today. So this particular package says, product of UK, packaged in USA, and it has a brand called Gustav's. Non-GMO, all natural ingredients. And I did notice that reading through the ingredient list that all the colors are from plant extracts, and plant purees and things like that. So we will just open it up and get into it. And the smell, sweet something and coconut, and a little bit of something else. I know there must be anise in there, but it doesn't pop out on its own. So people that don't like licorice might like this. And now there's lots of different shapes, and some are going to roll off the table here. I just want to pour out enough to get some of each. So I have to see uh, three basic configurations. Well, there's round things with a center. And there's little sandwiches that are squares. And any of them can seem to come in any color combinations. And then there's these little buttons that are coated with little beads or sprinkles or some even smaller round candy. So there's the different kinds. So I got a little bit of tasting to do here. Okay, so I'm gonna eat a few of the little sandwiches. It's a bit of resistance when you bite into it. A sweetness, a creaminess. Maybe a little black layer inside the sandwich is the licorice part, and maybe it's a little tougher and a little chewier. Licorice flavor is very mild. I don't recognize it as licorice. So the candy's nice, sweet, a little coconutty. It's just a little bit ambiguous about what it's trying to be. Clearly, it's a sweet. Okay, I'll try the round things. Same sort of thing. Coconutty. And I'm not sure what else. The coconut part is pleasant. And I don't really pick up a lot of licorice. And reading through the ingredients, you can clearly see that licorice extract and anise seed oil are the flavorings here. So it should be in there somewhere. So now going over the colors available in the little sandwiches, there's always a white layer on the outside, there's always a black layer on the inside, and then the other remaining side is either yellow, pink, or brown. Those are the colors they have available from their vegetable sources or fruit sources. So, yeah, I'm starting to see the pattern here. Okay, I've had enough of those. I'm going to try one of the little blue buttons. So I don't know what's inside this.
It's a light brown or dark amber gooey gel thing. It's like a gumdrop with a root beer flavor or anise flavor, but it's very mild and subdued. I think that's where some anise is. So I don't expect to show up this to show up on the camera, but the inside is a lighter gumdrop, almost translucent, yellow, amber, ginger, root beer. It's got a root beer note to it, but on in addition to the anise. So This is what the licorice haters need to stay away from. I'm not finding enough licorice flavor in these things to worry about. And there's a little bit more in here because the ratio of the black to the other colors is higher. I think that's where the licorice flavor is. So interesting candy. Different cultural context in UK or Europe. So nothing wrong with it at all. It's so sweet, it's good, lots of people are gonna like it. Some people won't be crazy about it because of the coconut, some people won't be crazy about it because of the licorice. I'm finding they're all fine. And not a lot of them look like these things. These have more layers. What else is there? These are the three layer ones in the black center. So some of these are more like them. So if you like the videos that you're seeing here on black licorice, be sure and give it a thumbs up and leave some comments down below. Subscribe to the channel and click on that bell to get notified whenever new reviews are published on Mondays and Thursdays. So go out and look for some all sorts in your local stores and candy shops or get some online if I'm sure it's reasonably priced, but so the next video will be on some black gooey chewy thing. So come back for that. Ah. So stay tuned for that one and come black for more.